Good morning, Efforta. I'm Kenzie. And I'm Alex. And today is Wednesday, September 20th, 2023. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. The detention 10th and 11th grade students, the PSAT, will be held on October 11th here at Ephrata during the school day. If you would like to take the PSAT on October 11th, please check your school G class group for a link to the sign up. The PSAT is a free test and it, and it provides a great opportunity to practice for the SAT. Sign ups close on, on September 22nd. Attention all readers, the EHS Book Club will be holding their first meeting on Wednesday, September 27th during ACT. Stop by the Media Center on Tuesday the 26th or Wednesday the 27th to receive your pass. You must have a pass from the Media Center to attend the meeting. We look forward to seeing you there. Attention ninth graders, on Friday, September 22nd, you will be taking in our, in our annual STEM Summit run by the organization called Junior Achievement. During this day-long experience, you will be participating in games, experiments, competitions, and activities that relate to science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. You will be assigned to a team and a teacher to help guide you through the event, which will be shared by your first period teacher leading up to the day of the STEM Summit. Except for starting the day in first period, you will not be in classes, so pack light for the day. Your teachers will be 
we'll be providing more info as we approach the event, so stay tuned. Attention juniors, if you're interested in being a part of prom committee, the first meeting with committee mm. and officers will be Tuesday, September 26th after school in room 200, Miss Petrie's room. We will be discussing fundraising ideas and start the pre preliminary planning for prom. If you would like to join, please plan on attending the meeting on the 26th. If you would like to be a part of the committee but cannot attend or have any questions, please message Miss Petrie on Schoology. Now over to news with Julius. <laughs> In Alaska, a Krispy Kreme delivery van was raided by a family of black bears to help themselves to some sweet treats. In other news is National Pepperoni Pizza Day. Now back to the main desk. Recycling team is back this year. If you want to help the school recycle some paper and get some volunteer time, then this is the spot for you. Our first meeting will be during ACT tomorrow, period three, in Mrs. Deed's room. Please see the sign up link on school with you to sign up for a spot to gather paper. Once the sign up is filled, we are at capacity for this coming session. After tomorrow's meeting, we will typically meet during period four A ACT. Can't wait to see everyone and make the and make a difference for the earth. There will be a ninth grade class officer meeting today right after school in the media center. If you are interested in leadership position for ninth grade class, this meeting to attend. This is the meeting to attend. Please contact Mr. Lo Piccolo in room 213 if you have any questions. Good news, guys. The Gold Out shirts are here. If you would like to buy one for the game Friday, please bring $13 to the media center and one and one will be given to you. Also, we will be selling gold out shirts during lunches for the rest of the week. Now over to lunch and Reagan with sports. Good morning, Effort of High School. I'm sure you're wondering what options you have to eat this morning because you guys are hungry. So here it is. You're gonna be eating today chicken fries with a whole grain roll, a sloppy Joe, Joe with a whole grain, whole grain roll, cut. <laughs> sloppy Joe, Joe with a whole grain roll. Cuban with a pretzel roll, a garden burger with cheese and a whole grain roll, a turkey BLT on a flatbread, fruit and yogurt parfait with a muffin, buffalo chicken salad, coleslaw, french fries, red pepper strips, and this is new, pineapple chunks. Wow, like we're living in Hawaii. All right, have a good day, Ephrata. Yesterday, golf lost at Overlook. Congrats to Jacob Buckwalder on his career low round of 81 at Monday's golf match. Boys cross country went one to one. Kyle Rydenball was the top runner for the mounts with a sixth place finish. On the girls side, Ephrata went two to zero. Ella Fouts took second, Kayla Rydenball third, and Hannah Miller fourth. Field hockey won three to one versus Cedarcrest with goals from Anna Comro, two, and Ashley Rogers. Volleyball won three to zero at Lampeter Stroudsburg. Today, tennis is at LS, boys soccer is home versus LS, and the girls are away at LS. Now back to the main desk. There is no act today. Have a great day, Africa.